Hey guys, Mike Moore here. This is first look at a portable charger that charges via USB for my Sony Alpha 6500 and the RX10 series. Basically, it charges FW50. I did not get this for free. I actually purchased this with my own money. This is not a sponsorship or endorsement in any kind for Rap Power. All right, and of course I got this from Amazon. I will have the, the links above and below. Basically, I was looking for a portable charger and being able to charge via USB is fantastic because that's how we're used to charging these. This kit actually came with two FW50 batteries, as you can see here. The quality feels about the same as a Sony's, if anything, a little bit more weightier than I remember for an MPFW50s. But keep in mind, these are not OEMs. These are made in China and the quality is remains to be seen until further testing. However, the battery charger feels really lightweight, and I like that because when you're carrying a bunch of batteries, which are heavy already, you want something lightweight to carry around. Dare I say this feels a little bit too lightweight. However, um, I have purchased a lot of RAV Power stuff in the past, and it's always met my expectations, which is, uh, well, actually better than what I usually expect. So this guy charges um, two of them at a time. Uh, the input is at 5 volts, 2.1 amps maximum. So that's basically your iPad charger or iPad capable charger. And the output current apparently is gonna charge two a little bit slower than it would charge one. So unfortunately the output current is only 700 milliamp hours if you're charging one. And if you're charging two, it charges both at 500. So you're getting a benefit of 300 milliamp hours. Basically you're not, you're gonna charge a little slow overall, but you'll charge two at a time. If you're only charging one, um, you get a little bit faster. 30% or more faster if you're just charging one. But the very fact that this is this is fairly thin, charges via micro USB just like any other cable, they even give you the cable, they only don't give you the adapter, but chances are you have plenty of USB adapters ready to go. So I'm gonna put this through the test and I'll give you an update if I find anything good or bad or unusual about it. Uh, it seems to have two charged light indicators there. It'll probably either light or change colors once it's finished charging. So I'm going to get these charging and get ready for a trip. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful to you if you're looking for charging accessories that are cheap and, and, and buy a good name brand that, um, you know, sometimes you buy some Chinese, uh, some Chinese batteries and the quality doesn't fall up to par. Rap Power is something that I can pretty much stand behind. Um, so if you're going to get cheap batteries, RAV Power ranks as one of the better sets that I've tried overall. And I'm talking purely USB power banks. Oh, and another thing about this is, of course, I'm going to use a battery bank to go ahead and plug in to charge this on the go in my backpack. While I, while I um, you know, travel or backpack around and take some pictures. Alright, I take a closer look at the actual Sony batteries, originally from Sony and an authorized retailer. I actually got these from Adorama, the Sony FW50s. And actually, I have to say that the quality of the RAV Power and actually third-party batteries feels a lot more solid than the actual original Sony batteries, which feels kind of crappy. I gotta say, it's it's got a really kind of soft casing. I notice it is also made in China. It feels less weighty. If anything, this feels more like the counterfeit than the RAV Power does. That's kind of interesting. That is definitely not what I was expecting at all. Now, if you take a look at the capacity, the capacity of the RAV Power is rated at 1100 milliamp hours, whereas the Sony is only rated at 1020 milliamp hours. So um, I guess you get a little bit more capacity with the RAV Powers, and they've got it to the point where uh, it, it actually exceeds the original manufacturer batteries. So Sony seems to have gotten cheap on these. I mean, the casing does feel cheap. You can actually push that in a little bit and, and it gives it gives way. It feels like a cheap casing. Whereas the RAV Power is pretty solid because it's probably fully packed with cells and that, that might explain why it is. Uh, it, it, it definitely feels um, uh, like in 1100 milliamp hours, like it has that many more milliamp hours. All right, and another thing, the charger changes colors. Uh, we're red when it's charging and green when it's done. So, yep, yeah, just wanted to leave that with you.